Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Good morning, dear people of God. Welcome to today's morning devotion, April 8, 2019. Today, we are looking at holistic preaching of the gospel. Holistic preaching of the gospel. Let us pray. Gracious Father, we thank you for a time like this. We ask that you help us by the power of your Holy Spirit to gain that message which you have prepared for your people this morning, that at the end we shall be blessed and your name glorified through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Once again, welcome. We are looking at Matthew chapter 4 from verse 23 to 25 and I read NIV. Jesus went throughout Galilee teaching in their synagogues, preaching the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and sicknesses among the people. News about him spread all over Syria and people brought to him all who were ill with various diseases. Those suffering severe pain, the demon possessed, those having seizures and the paralyzed, and he healed them. Large crowds from Galilee, the Decapolis, Jerusalem and Judea, the region across the Jordan followed him. Holistic preaching of the gospel. In everything we do in our Christian race, Jesus remains our perfect example. From the scripture we have read this morning, we saw Jesus as an itinerant preacher moving from one city to the other across Galilee and what was his message the message was about the kingdom of God reconciling men with God calling on men to forsake their sins and embrace the kingdom of God and the grace therein and then after preaching the good news to the people we also had according to the Bible, that Jesus also healed people of all manner of sicknesses and diseases. And that is the essence of the topic, holistic preaching of the gospel. We can see here that Jesus is not only interested in the spiritual salvation or in the spiritual well-being of people. Jesus is also interested in the physical prosperity of people and that is what it means to be holistic to for a gospel to be holistic he was also interested in their well-being too and this is a balanced ministry and then we need to note here that it was out of compassion out of love that jesus had to heal people with all manner of diseases as they came to him. And then many heard about Jesus and they trooped in coming to Jesus. One thing or the other must bring people to Jesus, either to hear the word of God or for them to be healed. And then whatever be the case, Jesus is always available. Jesus is always ready to give people more than what they have come to him for. Some of them may have come for the message, which is the word of God, that gives eternal life. But Jesus, out of compassion, 
gave them more than what they came for and he healed most of them. These diseases Jesus healed may have been difficult for the physicians of the time to heal those sicknesses, but the Bible recorded that Jesus was able to heal all those diseases. There is power in the Word of God. There is power in coming to Jesus. And when we come to Jesus with faith, we believe that we will even gain more than what we have come to Jesus for. And then this is what we know as a holistic ministry or holistic preaching of the gospel. If we also look at other portions of the Bible, where people came to Jesus to hear from him. We hear when Jesus fed 3,000 people and 5,000 people. After preaching the good news to them, Jesus refused to send them away just like that. He had to ask his disciples to run around and get food for them. And then that is also another example of a holistic preaching of the word of God. It is not really enough for people to come to Jesus and hear the word of God and then go back with empty stomach. Jesus understood this very well. And that shows that he was also fully interested in their physical well-being, in their health and all-round um, goodness of people. And that is what our message and our preaching in today's world is supposed to be. We shouldn't only concentrate in the spiritual aspect. It has to be balanced, just like Jesus balanced his own ministry and his own preaching. He had to give the word of God to the people and also attend to their physical needs. In our different vocations and ministries, we have so many people around us who need this word of God. But we are calling on people and preachers today and all Christian people to also look beyond the spiritual aspect of people's need and also try to see how they can meet up with their physical needs. Because when two of them go together, salvation will be full and complete. Have you looked at that brother? Have you looked at that sister? Is there need for him to be provided with food? Is there need for him or her to be provided with clothing or shelter? I think if we should look into that, it will also be wonderful, just like Jesus did during his own time. We shouldn't limit our preaching to only the physical aspect of it or the spiritual aspect of it. Two of them should go together, two of them should come together and then give out a wonderful result. Jesus has given us an example. It is very good for people to have a foretaste of this gospel and the power of Jesus Christ and what the, and what the gospel could accomplish in their lives. Because it is not really enough to tell people about the kingdom of God or about the power of God that can do one thing or the other. And then after that, what happens? Have you attended to their needs? I mean their physical needs. Very important. It now gives them that assurance that the spiritual will also be real because you cannot only be telling people about the spiritual when they don't have anything in the physical to hold on to, when they don't have anything in the physical to look at. If we can balance the two, that will be very good. Like I said, Jesus has given us this example. And again, for us to perform this miracle which Jesus Christ has performed. Of course, the Bible has told us that we shall even perform more than Jesus Christ has performed in the scriptures. And that is if we have the faith and the grace of God bestowed 
upon us, we can do even more than Jesus Christ has done in his own time. We cannot do it in our own power. We need the power of the Holy Spirit. We need the help of the Holy Spirit. That means if you are a preacher, you must have the power of the Holy Spirit in you. The power of the Holy Spirit will minister unto you to look also at the physical needs of people and as well reveal to you their spiritual needs. And when we meet these two needs, it will produce a powerful result. And may I also tell us at this point that if you are a preacher without the Holy Spirit, I don't think that your preaching can produce any effect. It will be more of mechanical. But if we have the power of the Holy Spirit, if we are always in tune with the Holy Spirit, I think we can do the preaching of the gospel the way Jesus Christ has done. Like it is written here in the commentary that the underlying motivating factor which made Jesus to heal the people who came around him was because of his kindness and love upon them. That also tells us that we should have compassion and love on people whom we preach the gospel to. The power of healing is not limited to Jesus alone. Jesus has given us the power. If we have the Holy Spirit, we can do more than Jesus has done. People need to have a foretaste of heaven. People need to see the physical aspects of the manifestation of the Word of God in their lives. So many people come to church and they go with their sicknesses I don't think it should be like that. The power of the Holy Spirit should reveal unto us and also give us the enablement to pray in the power of the Holy Spirit and heal people. And of course, if we remember from the portion we have read, who knows the reason why many crowd, many people had to come to Jesus, whether because of the word of God or maybe they have heard that Jesus has healed so many diseases, especially those diseases that are beyond the powers of medicine, those diseases that are beyond the power of the physicians of, of that time. Jesus, the power of Jesus, was able to heal all those diseases, and people came to Jesus. Some people might actually come to God because of the physical aspect of it, that is the healing. That's not bad but we trust the power of the Holy Spirit that whatever be the reason why people have come to Jesus, the Holy Spirit knows how to get at them and then give them that eternal life, that word of God which should sustain their soul even unto eternity. Let one thing or the other bring them to God, whether the word of God or they have come for healing. Let Jesus Christ, through the power of the Holy Spirit, do what he wishes and then using us as instrument. We must yield ourselves totally to the unction and the leading of the Holy Spirit so that we can be able to do more than Jesus Christ has done. And that is the message of today. The question we have to ask ourselves is this. Is your message holistic? Are you only interested in the spiritual aspect of people's life? That's fine. But the Bible is calling on us today to also look at the physical aspects of their need. And that will bring about complete salvation in the lives of people. And as we combine these two things, it will bring a powerful effect and Jesus will be glorified, and the blessings shall be ours. Let us pray. Thank you, Ancient of Days, because you have told us today that there is every need for us to also look at the physical aspect of people's needs, and not only the spiritual. 
if we can combine these two together, it will produce a powerful effect. Jesus has given us this example. Help us by your power to emulate Jesus who is our perfect example. And all glory shall be ascribed unto your name and your people shall be blessed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.